Hi guys, Jonah Campbell is here. Today, I'm going to sincerely admit my mistakes and get everything back on track. If you're wondering why my voice is Daniel in this video, it's because I wanted to try something different for a change, which was giving my Plotagon character a new voice. So without further ado, here I go with admitting everything wrong and bad that I did back in January of this year. So, I want to start off with saying that I'm sorry for freaking out and making a scene over someone impersonating me on Discord. Again. I was just really frustrated that this happened to me all over again. Because after all, this has already happened to me once before. Back in 2021, someone impersonated me and falsely framed me for showing my privates on Discord. This time in 2023, someone decided to do it again and claim that I want to rape dogs all because I'm a quote unquote, zoophile. For being sexually attracted to fictional animal characters that are animated and not even real. However, I'll talk about that later on in the video. But anyway, I could have handled the situation with the imposter on Discord in a calmer manner and sound the alarm rather than screaming for help and making a huge scene. I'm deeply sorry for what I've done. I'm also sorry for faking self-harm. Most of you claimed that I was faking suicide. Well, the thing about that is that I wasn't faking feeling suicidal. According to Rilolin, he believed me when I said that I was feeling suicidal. The thing that I really faked was self-harm. This has happened plenty of times before. Even though I truly was feeling suicidal, I faked self-harm and tried to make myself look wounded only because I didn't want to risk feeling the pain I would have felt if I truly did cut myself with a knife. So yeah, that's pretty much the reason why I faked self-harm. And I'm no longer feeling suicidal. Even though my haters, bullies, and trolls have been attacking me and giving me hard times for two solid years now. I feel to myself that I should no longer feel suicidal. Because according to Super Cool Galaxy and I killed Plastique Supo, suicide is an ultimate sin. So therefore, I don't feel suicidal at all anymore, even if my haters keep harassing me non-stop all day every day. Next up, I'm sorry for complaining about my haters all the time, even if they didn't do anything to me at a certain time. I remember there have been times where I ranted and vented about a few of my certain haters when they didn't even do anything to me. The reason behind this was because I've had bad memories from 2021 and so on whenever I got attacked by those haters of mine randomly pop into my head, which caused me to feel angry and vent about them at times where it was unnecessary. Up next, I want to say that I am sorry for creating a rage channel named The Angry Jonah Show. Why did I even bother to create a stupid account like that in the first place? I will tell you why. It's because I've had it with my haters attacking me, harassing me, poking fun at me, and just being nothing but massive bullies to me on my main channel most of the time. If there would be a time in the future when I'd have one of my angry moments and rant about my haters in such an extreme way, that's when I'd transfer over to my rage channel, The Angry Jonah Show, and have my angry meltdowns there. And that's when my haters can poke fun at me all they want. According to most users, it's not okay to create a rage channel for certain reasons. So therefore, The Angry Jonah Show was deleted by me. Next. I'm sorry for getting so worked up about my haters to the point of threatening them with death. Like Andrew or Roscoe has told me before, I'm no longer a minor. So if the police or the FBI found out about the situation with me sending death threats to my haters, they wouldn't go so easy on me considering the fact that I'm now legally an adult at the age of 18. I sincerely told Andrew or Roscoe and others that I wouldn't send death threats anymore since I'm now a legal adult. And of course, I just had to go back to my old habits from the first half of 2021. Trust me when I say this, I feel extremely ashamed of myself for what happened back in January this year. I was the one that messed up from the very beginning. I deserved what happened to me. I made a stupid choice that was wrong and bad. I'm so sorry, and I want to fix it and make so many major changes. Please believe me when I say this. I'm not going to make an excuse just to get away with whatever it was I did that was wrong and bad. I have said this before, and now I'm about to say it again. Whenever I sent death threats to my haters, I never actually meant it. I only said those things because I was just feeling really angry with my haters and other enemies. That's all. Now before you guys start acting like whiny cribbabies and raid the comments saying upsetting crap or something like that, let me tell you this. 
You guys need to stop and realize that everyone says something they really don't mean whenever they feel frustrated or angry. That's me right there. Like I said before, whenever I sent death threats to my haters, I never actually meant them. I only said those things because I was angry. But anyway, up next, I'm sorry for acting like a zoophile, according to most of my pea-brained haters. Before I get into the details of this part in the video, here's something I need to seriously talk about. Back to what I was saying earlier, most of my haters started calling me a zoophile when I claimed to be sexually attracted to fictional animal characters. The thing about that is, I cannot possibly be a zoophile. If I really was a zoophile, I would have been sexually attracted to real animals in real life. Being sexually attracted to fictional animals that are animated and not even real cannot possibly count as zoophilia. That's what 95% of people on the internet, including me, strongly and firmly believe. But of course, my haters don't know what the heck we're talking about. They have said to me before that I pulled the fictional character card as an excuse to not be described as a freaking zoophile. God, those violent kids think they know everything. They also think they're cool and better than me, when they're not for all the shit they put me through ever since the beginning of 2021. And before I wrap this up, let me just say to my haters that they are not what they call themselves, Yigachids. First of all, my haters are not Yigachids. They're stupid nut jobs due to all the info crap they've done to me. Second of all, Yigachid isn't even a word. It's a made up dumb fairy tale word made up by those spoiled brats on different sections of the internet who think they're cool and grown up, when they obviously aren't. End of story. Period. But anyway, long story short, I'm sorry for acting like a zoophile and revealing my sexual crushes on fictional animal characters last year back in 2022. I should have realized sooner that it would have been too much information for a lot of people, mostly those in the violent community. I've decided that I'm no longer sexually attracted to the aforementioned characters that I put on that list of mine. Just in case if sexual attraction towards fictional animal characters really does count as zoophilia. Please note that I still have crushes on them, but not in a sexual way. About the thing about me acting like a zoophile. I'm sorry for showing all of you an image of Maid Marian from Robin Hood taking off her top. That was a bad idea for me to do so. Even though most of you probably didn't see this next image I'm about to mention. Chase the stick figure exposed me for showing it on Twitter. I also want to apologize to whoever saw it, including Chase, for showing an image on my Twitter page of Danny and Sawyer from Cats Don't Dance having sex in the shower. Like with the other image, it was a bad idea for me to do that. Last, but certainly not least. I also want to deeply apologize for taking bubble guppies and the save ums way to the extreme. For a long time now, people have criticized me for treating the aforementioned shows, including the former, like they're worse than Satan. Since I don't make grounded videos anymore, I decided to not take bubble guppies, as well as the save ums, too seriously anymore. Please note that I still hate both of those TV shows, no matter what happens. I will always hate both Bubble Guppies and the Save Ums so much with a flaming passion, whether I take them seriously or not. Well guys, I believe those are all the mistakes of mine that I needed to admit. Before we end the video, I want to say a few things before I close. Please note that I'm going to say all of this in the calmest and most polite way possible. I need everyone to know that I never said I wanted to rape dogs in January this year. Most of you probably don't believe me, but I'm really serious when I say this. I'm telling the truth. Honest. I swear. I never said that I wanted to rape dogs. Someone decided to impersonate me on Discord, again, and frame me for wanting to rape dogs. I bet it's another one of those haters of mine who called me a zoophile all because I was sexually attracted to fictional animal characters. I swear I didn't say that, because I'm not that criminal type of person. Honest. Once again, I freaked out about it because this is the second time it's happened. I screamed for help and made a huge scene, but nobody wanted to help me. So that's why I had to go on another rampage. And my haters? If you're watching this video, I'm not asking for forgiveness. Let me repeat that. I'm not asking anyone who's watching this video to forgive me. I just want everyone to understand. 
I'm telling everyone my side of the story of what happened between us back in January of this year. My haters, I'm sorry if I hurt you, okay? But I want you to understand, you hurt me. And like I mentioned before, I'm autistic, which is something you guys don't seem to understand, nor respect. I have autism and anger issues, which is why it's so hard for me to handle hate and criticism, especially considering the fact that all of my haters have been so mean to me for the past two years. And like I said, I'm sorry if I hurt you. I want you to understand, you hurt me, and I'm not asking anyone to forgive me. I just want you to understand, as I'm explaining my side of the story behind this whole mess. And no, this apology is not fake. It truly is real and sincere, based on how long it is, and how much words I've been speaking so far. Besides, apologies are never meant to brainwash anyone. I'm pretty sure this is something we can all agree on. Apologies are never meant to brainwash anyone. Am I right guys? But anyway guys, this is all I would like to say for this video. I'm pretty sure I admitted everything that needed to be said. Please let me know in the comments if there's a leftover wrongdoing of mine that I forgot to admit. Until next time, this is Jonah Campbell, signing off for now. Bye guys, peace out, and I'll see everyone later.